you were working hard or hardly working? Um, a mixture of both, actually. The last one was 4.40. Long day. I'm not too early, am I? No, um, you're fine. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Charlie Wickline, and I'm going to do Hamlet's soliloquy. Act three, seven, one. <sighs> to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler to suffer. So who are your actors? Uh, Charlie Wickline and Garrison Morgan. I know Garrison, he is an ass. But, but he's a good actor, I mean you're lucky. Thanks. Oh, what play are you thinking of? Faith by Eric Lane. That's an impressive piece. Good luck with that. <laughs> a toast to your first stab at directing. And may it do better for you than all the chorus parts you played all year. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That was good. What did you think? Yeah, definitely. When do we rehearse next? Um. Thursday night, in the same room, actually. Uh, but if you wanted to get together to work one-on-one, -on -one, I could help you get into character. Oh, well, uh, having someone else help me get into character kind of kind of makes me feel like I'm not taking the initiative to get to know my own character. I can use some help if you have time. Sure. How was your run? Uh, about as good as how I smell. When are they getting here? It's just Charlie, actually. Garrison has another rehearsal. How unprofessional. He's already off book. He's not the one I'm worried about. So, what's it like working with the legend that is Garrison? God, he's great. I told you he's already off book. Yesterday, Garrison had Charlie so flustered that he had to leave the room and come back ten minutes later, completely embarrassed that he wasn't off book yet. It was only the third rehearsal. Garrison stayed in character the entire time, and all Charlie could do was sit there and read his lines. So, Charlie and I are going to work so he can counter Garrison on stage next time. Wow. What? You need to learn to take some control of your actors. <laughs> what? If you're letting Garrison run your rehearsal, what are you even learning? He's not technically running the rehearsal. He basically is. Besides, he needs to learn to listen to some authority. I mean, do you even like the way he's playing his character? You don't just tell someone like Garrison how to act. He already knows. Besides, Charlie will be a far better actor because he's willing to listen to the director. You don't get it. That's why my opinion should mean more. I'm completely objective because you can't be. I don't want to correct something I think is working. Garrison's character is fine. It's how I want it. Then that's great. As long as it's how you want it. Good luck with Charlie. This is unfair, I feel, I feel used and disgusting. I want to hurt him, I want to kill him, but anything I do doesn't even compare to what he did to me. Yes, yes, okay, what else? I'm embarrassed. I hate myself, but I hate him more. I want to take everything from him. I want to see him burn in hell. I, I want my innocence back, you son of a bitch. Good. Good. That's good, Charlie. Just remember how you feel now and, and keep it so you can recall it later. I think I can do that. Good. 
Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? Many years. Tell me your sins, my child. You killed someone. That's a good idea. Let's, um, let's take five minutes. Good job today. Really good job. Is there anything you want me to do differently or, or change at all? If there's something you want to change, but I thought you were brilliant. I mean, if there's something that you want to work on, I'm free tomorrow night. We can have dinner and rehearse. I think, uh, I think Charlie needs your help. What's the problem? I'm having problems focusing on one emotion. Well, what is Garrison giving you to work with? Nothing. He's so wrapped up in his own role that he's not even trying, trying to... Trying to make you look better? No. Trying to help me. Not all characters are even springboards. You have to take what he is giving you and try to work with that. Don't worry so much about perfecting the lines. Think more about the organic response in your gut to what he's saying. He has one word lines. It's not about the dialogue. Who is your character? Oh, he's a, he's a man that he wants to kill a priest that molested him when he was younger. And? And? That's only the very top layer of your character that the audience will recognize. One layer does not make up a person's death. Try to think more about it and get more into your character. Ready to go again? How do you, how, what do you feel about your character? How do you feel about it? How do I feel? Uh, I think he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but how do you feel about your character's development? I'm not really the character that gets to develop in this scene. Yeah, but you still get to, you know, Charlie, what do you, uh, rain. what do you want? Look, it's no surprise that you're a good actor, and it's also, no surprise that you know it either. You're kind of intimidating and maybe just a little bit cocky, but but I want that. I want I want to be that close to greatness. <sighs> Look, since we're in the same play, I think it'd be great that if if we could be on the same canvas, you know. And if you have a couple couple hints, I I gladly take them. Uh, well, I can't tell you what I know because I had to learn it. I had to acquire it. Okay? And, and you can't just... You can't just casually throw yourself into a character and hope that it works out alright because then the character becomes you and it's obvious that you're acting. But you still want to put your, your own self in there, your own traits to make it more believable. You have to see through the character's eyes. You have to take on their opinions, their beliefs, even their goddamn eating habits if that's what you have to do to get it. And then maybe you can say that you really acted. Have you? I've never seen you take it that far before. Listen, it's not a game. When it gets that real, that raw, it's terrifying. And you can't just casually say that you played a part because that part took you places where you didn't want to go. But you had to. 
seconds to not go over that edge will drive you more insane than the part take you completely. If you ever go to that edge, how do you come back from it? It's a method behind the madness. The closer you are to touching it, the further away you are from losing it. And until you understand that, no one can help you. Again, let's 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 do it again. Um, Charlie, you're being a little bit too aggressive with the roll still. Um, try try attacking the lines less with your voice and maybe more with your actions. No, 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 I mean it. I think, I think you're doing a good job. I just think you're trying a little too hard to... What, trying too hard? Like one, one rehearsal I'm trying too hard, the next I'm too aggressive. If you think you can play this role yourself, why don't you just play both roles? To Actually, do you want to do you want to come in? I'm just I'm just making food. Do you like pasta? I, I came to talk to you about Charlie. What about him? I think I think you're pushing him too hard. <laughs> By directing him? I don't know if you've noticed, but his character needs a little bit of work. There's still something missing. I think he gets it more than you know. <laughs> do you want dinner? He's just really trying to impress you, you know. Do you like salad? I have um, Italian or ranch or Thousand Islands. Look, I, it isn't my fault if he doesn't think that I'm giving him enough recognition. Do you remember your first college performance? Yeah, of course. What was it like? I hated it. Of course you hated it. Everyone hates it. No one, no one acts to enjoy it. It's a need. A passion. It's, it's your lover and, and it's your enemy. Charlie's, Charlie's trying, and, and, and I know you don't think he is, but he is. I know he is, I just, he's trying to create this, like, different character, someone who... Someone who you thought of? But he's creating his character. Why are you here, Garrison? Are you trying to tell me to stop directing because I'm interfering with his route? I mean, isn't it my job to try to make sure his actions fit the storyline? All I'm asking is for you to realize that, that the character that he sees is different from the character that you want. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. He's listening to me anyway, so I really don't see what the problem is. He is. He is. He keeps trying to portray what you want, but it's conflicting with what he feels, and it's, it's, it's throwing him off balance. It, it's, uh, it's unsettling to think about how that might affect him. And I, I, don't know how, I don't know how he's gonna react to anything anymore. And, and it scares me. Then why aren't you out there talking to him? If you're so worried about it, why not talk to him? I guess, I guess I'm jealous. Well, the characters I've played combined, I will still not have acted with as much conviction as he's 
putting into this one character. I'm jealous because I'll never, I'll never know what that feels like. To completely put my mind into a character in the process. He respects you. Telling him to stop would be like telling Picasso to paint landscapes. I just... I can't. It's your job. Garrison, uh, towards the end from the line, I ask for forgiveness and on. Try to show that you know what's going to happen. You know why Charlie's character is there and you know what he's about to do. So you can drop the whole holy man of God act. Um, that's all I have for tonight. Thanks, guys. Uh, we perform in a week. What should I change? Nothing, Charlie. You're doing fine. But there has to be something. What didn't feel real? There's nothing. You were believable. Look, I know you want something changed. Charlie. Tell me what to do better. The practice is over. Every practice. Right after it, you say, oh, you could do this, oh, you could do that. Why not today? Well, how, can, how can I be expected to make myself more believable if my director won't help me? You weren't me? believable because you've never been through something this awful. and I'm anything but carried away with this role. This role finally makes sense to me now. I think I, underst I think I understand what you mean by method behind the madness. I'm getting close to touching it, Garrison, but you were wrong. You said until I understand what it meant, no one could help me. I think it's the moment I understand that no one will want to help me. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? Many years. <clears throat> Tell me your sin was my child. I killed someone. <clears throat> Killed them for what they've done, and I'm scared. Scared of what? What will happen? What? What will happen? Not just in my mind, but just thinking over and over. <sighs> Wondering. Wondering what? Why? Wondering why what? Why I trusted him, believed him. Oh, 
It's right to have faith. No, not in him, not, not them. He stole from me. Tough things. Things. Not, not things. Important, irreplaceable. Not things. Something closer to you. My joy, my youth, my my innocence. He took my innocence. innocence. He hurt you? My soul. He took my soul. Well, no one could take your soul. Took it. It's only the power of the Lord. No, he took it. Knowing secrets I didn't know. Thinking, oh, this is what this is what I have to do. This is what God wants me to do. You must forget. Uh, forget. You must forgive. How can I forgive? You must. I, no, I can't. I... The Lord forgives all. I'm all not all. the Lord. He washes them away. Too easy. Offers salvation. Just words. And hope. Nope. Answers are. I, I. I can't. Salvation. No. Redemption. No. Hope. Gone. I, Faith. None. Oh, joy. I can't. Love. I can't forgive you. I can't forgive you. Tell me your name. You don't get to say anything. You don't get to ask questions. You sit there and you listen to what I have to say. I want to hear your confession. Or I'll tell everyone. I want to hear your confession. Now! My son, I don't know. You don't even know who I am? Were there so many? Were there so. Was there so fucking many? What? Tell me your confession. My son. I am not your son. I never was your son. I want to hear your confession. I can't. Why not? Trust me. <laughs> Where's your faith? My faith is in Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where are you starting that? The Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. And his divine mercy. Shut the fuck up! I ask for his forgiveness. What about my forgiveness, huh? What about my forgiveness? Forgive me if I have sinned. Uh, forgive? What? What? If? What kind of bullshit is that? If I have not seen. Shut the fuck up! Not followed. How could I have followed? Forgive me. Go for what I'm about. What are you about, huh? What are you about to do? Should you Five years old. You remember? remember? I was five fucking years old. Five fucking years old.
Morrison's Be All My Sins. That was, that was good, Charlie. Thank you. Um, you'll know whose group you're in by Friday. I'll post it. Okay. Uh, are there any notes that you can give me? Um, well, this is just an audition, so you'll really want to talk to your director. You're going to want to work with them. They'll be the ones to help you. Okay. Well, thank you, Anna. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Yeah.